Hey guys, welcome to the Helpful Solutions Tutorial and this is Zoho Vault Tutorial for Beginners. So I'm going to show you how to use Zoho Vault for Beginners. So guys, Zoho Vault is a secure password manager that safely manages your password and autofill them across website and application. So guys, first thing you have to do is go to zoho.com slash vault and then this will be your homepage. So guys, is Zoho Vault safe? So guys, I'll tell you that Zoho Vault is a safe platform because all of the password and other sensitive data that users store in Zoho Vault remains completely private and it can be only viewed by the respective users. So guys, Zoho is a well-known brand. They are trusted by Facebook, Netflix, and other platforms. So guys, this will be their homepage. And over here, we are going to sign up on their website. So you can sign in using your Google, LinkedIn, or Microsoft. So I'm going to go for my Google over here. And then from here, it will ask you, does your organization have an account with Zoho Vault already? So I'm going to click on no. And then from here, we're going to type in our organization. I'm going to go for the helpful solutions. And then down below, we're going to create our master password. And we're going to type in the code that they are provided. And next up, we're going to click this box. I understand that if I forget the master password, Zoho Vault will not recover it. So guys, make sure you have your master password copied on another platform or your notes so you won't forget it because they will not recover it if you lost it and now let's go on here get started so from here guys this will be their home page so from here you can have a tour or we'll have to skip a tour because i'm going to do that for you guys so over here you can instantly add a password or you can import password so let's try to add a password so from here guys you will have a category so you will have multiple options here, web account, file store, healthcare, payment card, social security number, Unix, web account. So we're going to go for web account. And over here, we're going to have here the name. So I'm going to go for Facebook. And we can also have it on folder. So let's create a folder now. I'm going to go for socials, create new. And next up, we have the username. So I'm going to go for my username and then next up, guys, we will have the password. And lastly, we will have the URL and make sure you have the URL correct. And next up, we have the notes and also the tags. And guys, if you want to add more information, you can click here, additional fields. So you will have here TOTP, custom fields, attachment, and we can also add description. And guys, once you are done, you can just hit here, save. And you can also toggle it here as mark as personal password. So if you have a personal password, you can just click the box over here. But as of now, I will not make it my personal password. And let's just hit save. So from here, guys, we will have now our password. And next off, we can also have it mark as favorite so when we have a lot of password we can go over here to the favorites so we can manage our password more clearly and let's go back to all password and right here guys we can also copy our password we can launch the password or the website and we can also share it with the others and right here we can have it edited duplicate manage associated folders and you can also move it to trash and then next up guys we have here shared by me so if you have passwords that you shared with your employee or your freelancer you can have this category over here or if people share their password with you it will show over here and we also have a trash over here it's like a recycle bin for your files and next up, guys, we have the category. This is what I made earlier, a web account. But if we add more 
password. Let's say I'm going to add another one over here. I'm going to click add and I will have a password. And from here, I can change the category to, let's say, payment card. And then, guys, just fill up the necessary information. And then once you're done, just hit save. And it will automatically add on your password. And as you can see here, guys, another category have popped up. And I think this feature is really great because it lets you manage all of your password in each category. And another one, we also have the folders over here. And next up, guys, we have the folders. So over here, we can edit our folders or we can share our folders. And next up, we have the apps. So from here, we don't have an apps yet. And if we, if we want to add apps, just go over here to the manage app and you can add an application. So over here, guys, they have multiple application that this platform are supported. So we have here the performance management and the human resources and the others. So they offer multiple platforms over here that you can add to your Zoho Vault. And next up, guys, we have the audit. So from here on the audit, this will be all of your password or this will be the activity that has been performed by your employees and as you can see here this is performed by me so i think this is a great feature as well because it lets you have an overview on what is happening or what is the activity of each users and next up guys we also have the folders over here and as you can see here the activity of the folders and we also have the users and groups so you can see here the activity as well as you can see password assessment report generated and next up guys we have the super audit so this super audit is a very specific history of information as you can see viewed users and group audit so super audit is where you can see where people visited and i think guys this platform is a great website because they only have a simple sidebar and everything is not so complicated, not like the other password managers. Next up, we have the reports. And as you can see here, we will have multiple options here on the reports. And we have the first one is the user access. And next up, we have the password access. So over here, guys, you will see here the people who have an access to your passwords. Next up, we have the folder access, password assessments, and all of the other reports. And lastly, we have the settings over here. So guys, in the settings, we will have multiple options here. And as you can see, you can import password or you can also export password and go over here on the personalization and guys as you can see here we have inactivity timeout so when people or users are inactive it will lock so we can enforce it for everyone and over here we will have an option to change the minute on what time we want to lock when they reach an activity timeout and as you can see here, we can also set constraints while exporting audits and reports. So you will require them to have a password when they are exporting on report or audits. And you have a lot of options over here, you guys. And next up, we have the subscription, as you can see here. So let's view here the pricing and plan benefits. So from here, guys, we have the free forever which is three dollars and we also have the standard which is one dollar per month and we have the professional which is only four dollars per month and lastly we have the enterprise over here guys which is seven dollars per month 
So I think this website is really great because it's a really cheap password manager, not like the other password manager that I see. And guys, I recommend this website because Zoho is a very well-known app. And I think this is the best one so far that I encountered. And there you go, guys. If this video is helpful, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you.